everyone, Macy Lou here, and today I'm going to be discussing how I stay organized as a full-time artist. Now before I jump into that topic, I just want to quickly explain why I'm drawing upside down in this video. So in this video, I am drawing the flash upside down. This is actually a Christmas gift for a family member, but don't worry, no spoilers, they don't know who they are. And, um, but I'm doing it upside down as a part of my art homework, kind of like a challenge. It's just an assignment I gave you guys. If you guys watched that video, you know what I'm talking about. So that is how I approached this piece, um, at least for the sketch part of the piece. But once I started with the watercolor, I, you'll see that I actually flipped it around the normal way. So, um, what I wanted to say is the main thing that I use to stay organized as a full-time artist is Google Calendar. I cannot stress this enough. Other artists out there, I have heard them talk about Google Calendar. Other entrepreneurs have talked about Google Calendar. And I have always been skeptical about it. I stick with the, uh, or I've always stuck with the hard, um, the hard copy, you know, planners and, you know, not necessarily bullet journals, but sort of a similar vibe. Um, planners, bullet journals, those type of things, those, those, I'm writing it down on paper type things. But I found that when I use Google Calendar, and no, this is not sponsored in any way, by the way, when I use Google Calendar, it really helps me stay on task. Now that's kind of gone out the window right now because it's around the holidays and I'm making a lot of artwork for Christmas gifts and doing gift wrapping and doing my new Twitch channel live streams. So honestly, I've not been on task because of all of the holiday mayhem, so to speak. But typically, on a normal week, on a normal work day, Google Calendar does a great job keeping me on task. It's sort of like my new boss, you know, since I work for myself now and I don't have a boss to kind of tell me what to do. It's nice to have this little fallback kind of like... Uh, almost like a, a robot boss that's like telling you, oh, you need to do this. Oh, you need to do that. And typically I'm very self-motivated and I don't need to be told what to do all the time, but I do need reminders to stay on task because I could spend hours on almost any given thing that I need to do. If I need to edit a video, um, you know, I could spend hours and hours and hours doing that. But if I have something telling me that, oh, hey, you need to put the brakes on this project right now, you need to stop editing this video for now, and you need to actually paint, you need to get in the studio and paint, or you need to make a list, you need to schedule things out, you need to do a blog post, you need to do an email newsletter, you know, whatever I've got going that I actually need to do that is urgent or that is semi-urgent, it will tell me to do that. And it has been fabulous. It's been great. Like I said, since it's the holidays, since I have a lot of Christmas gifts to do, it's not kept me on task because I can't really be on task right now. I have to concentrate on more of things that are more of an urgency kind of thing. You know, Christmas is in five days as of right now, me recording this video. So it's very important that I work on those gifts, I get them boxed and wrapped. But Typically, this Google Calendar thing has been a lifesaver. Now, what I do is I schedule things out about a few days or a week ahead of time, and so I know what the whole next week is going to look like. And um, so far, I'm trying to keep it to where every single week I have basically the same schedule. Um, the only things that will change are slight variations, like if I have a specific thing to send out in the mail, if I have a specific art piece to go show a client, you know, that kind of thing. Those things are variables that will change the schedule. But for the most part, every single week my schedule stays the same. Now I do have a task set in my calendar that is called schedule things. I know that sounds funny, but I give myself an hour each week to schedule things so that if anything needs to be adjusted or changed, I can do that. You know, every week I can look at that. And some weeks, that's a, a free hour, basically, where I don't have anything, so I can fill it with something else. I can fill it with painting. I can fill it with organizing, cleaning the studio, editing a video, 
whatever I need to do, but it's still there in case I need to readjust my schedule and change things. So I hope that that has been helpful. Um, I really enjoy Google Calendar. I don't know why I was a skeptic for so long. I used the regular calendar app in my phone for so long and it just wasn't it was okay, but it wasn't the best. Google Calendar is a lot better, I feel like. And it can kind of sync up with your regular calendar if you have like a, an Apple phone or something. So it's great, and I just wanted to throw that out there. I think it's really helpful. Just keep in mind, don't overschedule yourself and don't underschedule yourself. Find a middle of the road, what works for you. And a lot of times it'll probably be experimentation. You'll probably schedule yourself probably over schedule yourself at first and then you'll learn oh hey that's too many tasks that's too much for me to handle right now I can't really do that I don't have that much time or maybe the tasks take longer than you expect either way do some adjustments along the way and I think it will work out great for you um, but I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to leave a like if you did and I have a patreon page and I really want to thank all my patrons so much for supporting me and all of that. It's really phenomenal. Thank you guys so much. Have a great day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!